I'm sure the yarn selection was different back then too. Even just like when I started knitting uh, yeah. four years ago to now, the knitting industry has changed so much. Oh, totally. I'm sure it was mostly just a limited palette of natural wools for people knitting these yeah. sweaters for their children. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what's on your needles right now? What are you knitting or what are you itching to cast on for? I am knitting a blanket or a throw for my mother. And I've been knitting that for a long time. <laughs> that it's just taking me forever. I mean, I have I have an excuse because I just moved across the country in March. I moved from Maryland to Minnesota. That's right. And so that project, which I intended to bring with me, got packed in a box. So I just moved into my new house at the beginning of June and was able to unpack it. So I am working on that. And I have been trying for... If I won't tell you how long <laughs> to, to knit myself a lace wrap cardigan, and it is going badly. <laughs> I have, I've ripped that thing out, I'm not even kidding, at least 10 times, oh, and no. <laughs> would think that I, am learning to knit at age 12, I would have figured out at this point, but I don't. And of course, I always think that I'm smaller or bigger than I really am. <laughs> I don't know if there's a problem that I'll be like, I am not knitting that size. Okay. <laughs> and then you try it on and you can't get your arm in the armhole or whatever. And so you have to rip it out. And then you did it way too big because you're like, fine, I'm just going to knit fine. the big size they have. Yeah, because <laughs> you're all mad. <laughs> then you're mad. You're, 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 it's a spite knit. Yeah. Fighting chatter. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, I've done that several times. Where now I'm to the point where I'm I trying to measure myself, but that's a little too depressing. Yeah, yeah. No one wants the tape measure. <laughs> no, it's too depressing. So I'm thinking, if it's a lace wrap cardigan, mm -hmm. there's going to be a lot of stretching. Yeah, available. a lot of moving around, a lot of flexibility. Stretching or loosen it up, and it'll be awesome. <laughs> Lock it bigger, smaller. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> So it's a little too big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's so funny. I could just belt it. Yeah, yeah. Just put a belt across it. Yeah, oh. exactly. Or pin it somehow. Put a cute right. little, yeah. I'll make it into a wrap and just throw it <laughs> to the shoulder. It's going to end up being like one of those sweater coats that goes all the way down to the ground. We need those here in Minnesota. <laughs> that's right. What's your worst knitting disaster? Oh, you know what, I... <laughs> or dyeing disaster in your case, too, because you oh, dye the yarn, so... I have many knitting disasters. I will tell you, <laughs> the worst knitting project I've ever done in my entire life was with a yarn that I will not name by name, but it's Ivan <laughs> and Michaels, and it's bad. <laughs> and it's just bad. It's 100% acrylic, and it's fuzzy. Oh, and <laughs> those are the best. <laughs> It's impossible to rip out, and you're, you're constantly poking through the the strand below. And it's it's I I worked on that project forever before finally calling it quits and saying life is too short to knit with this kind of stuff. I yeah. can't do it. I actually gave the project to one of my friends. Who was what like, was oh, it? I love. It was a scarf. She oh, she scarf. loved okay. it. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I love lint knitting with this yarn. I, I, I literally... <laughs> you threw it at her. Say, please take it. You can keep the needles. Yeah. Just get this out of my house. Yeah. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and I, I have too, too many dying disasters to even talk about. How long it's do you have? It's got to be like, yeah. You got, I mean, you're working with those dyes and those colors. And it's funny because I was looking at your blog and you have that picture of the floor in front of the... Yep. Yeah. It's, it, it's bad. <laughs> I mean, in, terms of, in terms of the the mess, the mess factor is significant. It's hot in the studio right now, and I was wearing shorts today, and I have dye all over my legs. Yeah. There is, I was going to ask, do you have dye all over you all the time? Yes. I mean, I do wear <laughs> gloves. I'm very careful about wearing gloves, and so yeah. I, I don't have too much on my hands, but I did it all over my arms. I did it all over my legs. <laughs> Not as bad in the winter when I'm wearing long sleeve. Long sleeve, I was just going to say that. <laughs> I mean, and I, I do end up having to push up the long sleeves because I don't want to get them wet. Mm -hmm. But 
it, it's better when I'm more covered. But at, right now, it's just it, there's dye everywhere, and <laughs> it, there's, I have been taken aside by my doctor before because she wanted to talk to me about the purple and brown blotches. Oh no! Are you kidding? <laughs> she wanted to give me a card where I couldn't really get help. What did you say? That, no, I, you know, my husband is a lovely man. Yeah. It's not hurting me. It's dying. It's and I tried to like lick my finger and rub it and show her that it comes off. She didn't get what I was saying by die. She thought that was a further oh, thing. like oh, right. <laughs> and. I kept, you know, it's like I kept trying to explain. It's kind of like paint, yeah, it's like yarn, and it's liquid. And yeah. she really thought I was just—I think she thought making that I, it up. Yeah, I, I needed assistance. Oh, I mean, I no. needed. I knit. You should have said I knit. Then she would have looked at you even odder. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's you right. knit, sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Lots of people do that these days. Yeah. <laughs> So, okay, so last but not least, what's your favorite drink? What's oh. your favorite cocktail? Oh, cocktail. Oh, it has to be a Bloody Mary. Ooh. I mean, isn't that a ridiculous cocktail? But that's what I... No, I love Bloody Marys. That's a good uh, one. In fact, I, just, I love to drink Bloody Mary mix just like during the oh. day. <laughs> the alcohol in like the, the, the virgin day. Bloody Mary while you're dyeing the yarn? <laughs> I, I do. Um, along with the coffee and the iced tea and yes. the water, there's a constant supply of liquid. Of liquid. Um, but it's, I, I love Bloody Mary mix. I don't know what it is about it, but. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Sharon, why don't you tell our viewers what wonderful yarn they have the opportunity to win this week? Oh, this is very exciting. Yes, you got to tell I them what the giveaway is all about. I need two brand new, never before seen, one of a kind colorways for your viewers. Wow. One of them is a set. I'm getting it. Hold on. Yes. One of them is um, a set that you can't see in my dark library. Yeah, I get closer. Um, <laughs> I can move it closer. Oh, that's better. Uh, but it's on Wexford. <gasps> oh, that's beautiful. Uh, Merino and silk blend, and this yarn is to die for. I, it looks like it. I want to reach through the screen and touch it. <laughs> I have been joking for years that I need to build a pneumatic yarn tube, like they have yes. at the, where you just put the yarn in and it whooshes off to people's houses. That's yes. what we need. Yes. The pneumatic yarn tube. <laughs> that's one. <laughs> that's one prize. And then I have two other prizes. Um, there are two skeins of this stock yarn that I made. Mm. Are does adorable. that have purple in it? It does have a little bit of purple. I know it's dark in my library, and you'll have better pictures up on your website. Yes, I will. Um, but it has a little bit of purple. It has some pink. It has some green. It has some Ooh. smoky gray hues. Um, so this is also awesome. that is so pretty. So I hope everybody will enjoy seeing the better pictures of them. Yes, definitely.